Hi guys, welcome to this channel. I'm Arman, to the animator for games. Uh, today we are going to look at some VFX and I'm going to do sun effect. Uh, we will be starting from core. This is my library of VFX. I will be using this effect as starting and later we'll add some rays and everything else. So right now I want to experiment with this um, on the core of the sun. Let's uh, move it to our project. I have created an empty project and I put this effect in VFX images folder under radial rays. So let's see how that looks in spine. First I will be dragging first frame. Let's see it. Actually, let's drag the frame where I can see the whole effect. Later I will rename. Let's put it at 0, 0 position and make a mesh of it. I will edit the mesh and create rings, maybe four rings, to later modify it easily. I have created the rings, which we can select by holding down Shift key. And with holding down shift and control, we can add selection rings. And even we can save them under uh, numbers holding control one, control two, you can see that they are selected and which we can recall by one, two, and that's on. So, and now I'm going to add bones for each circle uh, rings. And later we can try to create a sphere out of this plane mesh. I have created a container bone for this effect and to create bones quicker um, I will need to enable a wireframe so I can see the rings and select the container bone, select the create tool and with shift held I can quickly just create bone for each length, for each uh, ring. I will later adjust their position. and one would go here okay now when i have the bones aligned i can uh, hide the wireframe yes and i can bind the mesh so this way we can uh, weight the vertices so they listen to the bones uh, appropriately okay let me quickly do it I have weighted the mesh. You can see that every bone controls its own ring and we can see the rings by checking overlay. Different colors mean different uh, bones are affecting the vertices. Let's uh, test our animation. So for that, uh, since I have worked out this mesh, I really want other frames to use this uh, transforms of these vertices. So for that, I will need to create a linked mesh. Linked mesh means uh, that uh, new meshes, new images will be copying transform of these vertices. So let's rename it and make it one because I'm going to increment names and let's stretch it and actually create linked mesh. You can see that it incremented to uh, two. And now let's duplicate the linked meshes up until we have the frames here in the project file, which would be 23. Let's select all of them. Let's clean the image path because all of them are using the original path. Let's remove them and uh, test it in animation. So for that, I will start keying them maybe expand it a little bit here and add a fake key here so i can use my keyboard shortcuts to quickly go and key them mm -hmm. let's remove this one okay so this is the effect we have and now we are going to make it a half sphere Okay, I went a little bit crazy. I created another set of bones vertically. This will be my scaling bones. 
and here are they i have selected them in hierarchy and i placed originally made bones in in correspondingly each of the new created bones so this way i'm going to scale the new created bones while be able to rotate these other bones in the um, frame of reference of new created bones so this will help me to create some vortex effect i, I believe something i don't know how it will end up I have done the hemisphere effect, for that I selected those bones, just scaled them and move those slices one by one up to achieve first pyramid effect and then by scaling and modifying the slices I got my final sphere effect. Right now we have pyramid but I have uh, correct sphere saved in other animation, this one. Uh, it's not perfect, but anyway, we can work with that. Okay, let's see that animation. Okay, so this is our hemisphere. And I'm going to duplicate it and put another one at the bottom. But uh, first, I want to add a little bit rotation to that. For that, I will select this bone. And actually, I will select all of the inner bones, children bones. A key the rotation and at the end I will rotate them in, in this direction yeah I think we can see that in preview they start to rotate at the same rate but now let's deselect top ring and continue rotating uh, let's um, change to local so we can see now let's deselect another ring at the top and continue rotating. Let's deselect another row. Continue rotating another. And this would be the final. Um, the bottom hemisphere I will uh, rotate the other way. I don't know, maybe some interesting effect. Let's uh, change the blending mode to additive and duplicate it. I will move this bottom, rotate 180 degrees. Uh, let's disable this wireframe and let's move it. Let's see it in animation. Yeah, I think we are very close to making a square looking effect. Yeah. So now I will select the inner bones of the newly created sphere delete the rotation keys again key and this time i will rotate the other way around again deselect the top ring continue rotating deselect the top let's do this one a little bit extreme so maybe something interesting comes up Nope, I don't see it becoming interesting, so let's do it an easy way. And finally, let's uh, duplicate the slots to give them richer look. For that, let's skip frames and have total six slots effects. And let's offset them by holding Alt key. Yeah, I'm happy with this. I know that 23 was the last frame, so I copy everything after that, including the 23 frame and pass it at a zero. Right now I don't need the other frames. So this is how it looks. And let's also change the flow of the bottom hemisphere. The frames, we can reverse them. I selected uh, three slots. I am selecting them, waiting a little bit, so the blue box appears. We can modify. <clears throat> we have 23 frames, that means we can go up to 46. Now we have reversed them, we bring it back. And yes, that flows. Let's also all at once offset them at 10 frames. <clears throat> and move those back. Yeah, I like this. We can continue with this one. 
Okay, so guys, I am going to do more of this uh, effect. I will be, I will make it richer, and I was hoping to achieve some core animation here, but it looks more like a surface animation. But anyway, we will be experimenting and adding more and more features. I want to try spine features combined with uh, sequences, so how we can manipulate them. And that was it. Uh, make sure you have subscribed to follow more videos, to see more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.